hi so i am back because i want to show you my valentine flip book that i made for um a valentine flip book swap um but it was a little twist because you're supposed to add your pocket letters in there um and the rule was at least three so here is the front and I will have to tag who I was inspired by. I cannot remember her name right now. It was something, something 29, but I'll tag her at the bottom. And um, and so I made two tags and this is a pocket that I didn't necessarily make on purpose, but it kind of worked out. Um, the paper that I had was an eight and a half by 11, like printer paper and so it would only make one square. So in order to fill the back of the other square, I use the other half to do like a top and a bottom. So it kind of worked out because I didn't put tape on this top half, so it made a pocket. So it turned out um, super perfect. And so here are my two tags. And so they just slide here in this pocket and I decorated them. I cut them out with my Cricut and um, decorated them with some stickers that I had all right and and then this um, came from Target like dollar spot and it's just a little banner this also came from Target dollar spot and I printed this off um, I always buy my stickers from tra la 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 stickers I think that's her name she always has super cute stickers all right and then it opens up and then here I did a cut or like a die cut type thing with my Cricut um, with a bicycle. I use letters from a sticker book to put gal um to put Galantine. And then these little things came from Dollar Tree and this came from Target's Dollar Spot. This came from Dollar Tree as well. And this tag I made with my Cricut. And I think this paper just came in a paper pad from Hobby Lobby. And also the background paper came from Hobby Lobby. Like I mentioned, it was an eight and a half by 11, so it would only make one square. So that's how I ended up having two different pieces for two of my squares. Um, this one is the second one, but you can't see it because I covered it with a card. So the bottom half um, is a bit different from um, the top half, but like I mentioned, I covered it. And so this is the card that I have. And so now let's open up and go to this side. So here I made a little shaker. Um, I put stickers inside of this shaker. This is actually just, um, I don't have a fuse tool yet. That's definitely on my list, but I used this clear piece from sticker paper and I pulled the stickers out, of course, and then I used it. And then um, this is simply gilded washi tape going around it. And as I like, I just filled on filled in the inside with the sticker Valentine sticker pack from Hobby Lobby. And then these cute little um, just like embellishment. I got this from Target Dollar Spot as well. All right, um, so this side is where I included my three little pocket letter pullout. Um, I was kind of sad. I got these from Target, all the spot again, and the quote was something about forever. I don't know. Either way, the word love wasn't in it at all. And um, I didn't pay that any attention until after I came home. It was like, great, I can't even spell love with these. So usually I know the heart takes the place as the O, but there is no L. So um, I just used the heart in the place of that. So then this is, I tied it up with a little twine because it won't stay still. It won't stay closed on its own. It kind of is now because it's been tied down for a minute. And so I just decorated my three pockets. And um, I thought about putting something on the back, but I probably won't. I, I've kind of ran out of ideas because it's like it took so long and a lot that um, I think that I will just keep the front because I, I really like it. Um, and so that's that. Let me tie this back. And I'll probably cut this string because it's a bit long. 
I would like some other string that's a little thicker that would actually make a cute bow. But because I am just starting out with doing these, I don't have that much in supplies yet. So, and I try to use what I have. All right, so that folds back and then you go on this side and you open it and then um, I got a little crafty. I was really proud of this page. Um, I don't know why, maybe because it's all mixed and match, but it all still kind of goes together. Um, and I just use ribbon. Uh, this background is cardstock. This is some um, like sequins ribbon that I got from, I want to say Dollar Tree. Um, this was something that came in it was a gift that i received i can't remember the name right now i think it's called scarlet something um this ribbon came from hobby lobby and i just really like how it just came together um so this is like probably my favorite page and then over here on this side is all of the goodies i think i'm gonna put the word goodies right here or right here i'm not sure yet but it's just full of all the nice little goodies and knickknacks like it would if it was a full pocket letter. And that's it. Um, this was short and sweet. I Again, if you would like to see me put together one of these things, it does take time. And I never pre-think these out. Like it literally takes me all day because I'm just kind of putting it together as I go. And maybe if I pre-meditate one one day, it'll be a little easier. Or maybe I'll record myself just doing the whole process and just speed it up um, so it won't be a super long video. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, the, this is one, two, three. It's four squares, but this paper was not front and back. So it was actually eight squares that I put together um, front and back and um, just did this fold out and put put it together with washi tape so um that's the inside of it and then that's the outside of it from when it's folded so you only actually have one page that remains blank all right um anyways i really hope you enjoy this please check out my other videos i have another one um where i created this is my second flip book that i've ever done and um, I'm really enjoying these. I started off with pocket letters and I've only made a few of those, but I've been enjoying it. And then I started making these flip books and I just absolutely love it. And I hope you enjoy this. I hope that this helps you and inspires you. Um, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.